G'day guys, this is Tia back with another Elden Ring video. Today's guide is all about a neat little synergy that has been making the rounds in the community. I'm going to be showing you how to make full use of the Bleed Flame incantation and the Prelate's Charge Ash of War to inflict multiple bleed procs onto an enemy in a single charge. You see, bleed in this game is absolutely amazing, taking away a percentage of your enemy's health bar when blood loss buildup is complete. And doing this whole synergy, you do a lot of blood buildup, taking away at least 45% of the enemy's health bar, procking at least 6 blood loss buildups if you manage to deal all of the ticks of damage in a single charge. Now, Blood Flame is unique in that it is a status that inflicts bleed over time. It doesn't get boosted by scaling, so the only property that does increase it is how fast you can inflict those ticks of bleeding. I mean, just look at this footage of it being used against another player from their perspective. These bleed bars are getting filled up very quickly, leading to some great DPS. You will be staggering enemies relentlessly and inflicting such large amounts of fire, bleed and physical damage all at once, your enemies won't even know how to react as you just wail on them. All aboard the pain train. Okay, so starting off to make use of this combo, you're going to want to have a colossal weapon that can have both the Prelate's Charge Ash of War applied to it and the Blood Flame Incantation applied to it as well. In this instance, we will be using the Great Star's Colossal Weapon, because it allows us to do just that. Additionally, this Colossal Weapon comes with an awesome passive bonus that will heal us a set amount of health per damage tick we inflict on an enemy. And yes, this healing does apply itself to you per bleed and flame tick you deal, resulting in a really impressive heal over time effect while you are charging the enemy. Now, Blood Flame is so great for this because normally it inflicts just 40 blood buildup on an enemy per hit, per swing, so 2 hits will give you 80 blood buildup, so on and so forth, but while we are doing our charge attack, that 40 gets added per tick of damage back to back to back to back, resulting in a seriously quick hemorrhaging effect. So, we have the weapon, we know what Ash of War and Incantation to apply to make the synergy work. So now the question is, how do we push it further and make it endgame viable? Well, from here, we will be using the White Mask and the Lord of Blood's Exaltation Talisman to boost our bleed damage by 30% for 20 seconds. Obviously, using these two items will just make our damage that much better. And since bleed is our primary way of dealing damage, this is the best option. From there, we will be equipping the Shards of Alexander Talisman to increase the damage of the weapon ability by 15%, which is the Prelate's Charge. From there, the Rotten Sword Insignia will be used for extra consecutive damage up to 22%, which pretty much gets activated instantly because you're doing heaps of ticks of damage consecutively on an enemy while you charge at them. So that Rotten Sword Insignia damage bonus gets activated pretty quick. And then finally, our final talisman will be utilizing the God Skin Swaddling Cloth for 3% healing during successive attacks. This on top of our native healing effect from the weapon we are using ensures it will be very, very difficult for us to die while we are actually performing the charge. As long as we are keeping up the pressure, being in the enemy's face and doing constant prelate charge bleed flame damage, we will be very hard to kill. Now on top of all of that, you can use the Golden Vow incantation for 15% increased damage and 10% damage mitigation. And then from there, you can chuck on Fire Grant Me Strength for 20% extra fire and physical damage smack dab on top. Now as for the other stuff you'll need, that will be a lot of poise which can be acquired by wearing some super heavy armor like the bull goat chest arms and legs. This is definitely recommended to get you to the highest amount of physical resistance possible and the highest amount of poise that we can get whilst wearing the white mask. This is definitely recommended and it helps you out a great deal while you are charging. So there we have it guys, just a beautiful little synergy you can make use of in Elden Ring to turn yourself into an unstoppable pain train powered by your enemy's blood and a little bit of fire. I sincerely hope you guys enjoy using it, as it's pretty fucking fun and pretty deadly as well. You wouldn't expect something like this to be as effective as it is, but it just works. <laughs> anyway, also thank you to everyone for the support in the Elden Ring videos thus far. It really means the world and I'm glad you guys are enjoying this change of scenery and enjoying me making this type of content. Appreciate it. That's going to do it for me, a massive shout out to all my current Patreons and channel members. You're all legends and thank you for your support. If you'd like to support me further, then consider becoming a Patreon or channel member or checking out my merch store. We've got a lot of great designs and benefits, so be sure to check that out in the description along with my other social medias like Discord and Twitter. Subscribe if you're new and like the video if you enjoyed. I've been Tia and I'll catch you in the next one.
Welcome to Valhalla.